Hello, everybody. My name is Cesar Gonzalez, and I am an online MBA student here on FAU. And I'm here to talk to you about two very important tips in improving your business communication, which are called don't be an art of distraction and prefer simplicity. Now, as we all know, in today's modern world, we get access to so much information. So much so that we're expected to process all of it, but we really can't. They say that the average attention span of a human being is only eight seconds. Now, with that in mind, we have to be aware that through this information that we constantly get on a daily basis, whether that's through our phone, social media, local news, or even at work, most importantly, right? When we deal with emails, we get so many emails, so many Teams chats, meetings, and just in general interaction with other coworkers. We get so much information and we're expected to process all of it, but we really can't, right? So it's important having that awareness whenever you present, when you deliver a message. The attention span is not that long for someone. You gotta make sure to captivate them with something that's unique and interesting from the beginning. And you also have to make sure that that message is clear enough and simple enough to follow. So tip number 12, don't be in our distraction. So we all sort of been in this sort of similar situation, right? Where someone's trying to present and everybody's just distracted. They're on their phone, not really much paying attention to anything what you're saying. Uh, sometimes they pay attention to some things, but they'll sometimes days off or wander off. And you can see it by their facial expression. So I've personally seen this type of behavior in my workplace, right? Yeah, it's very unfortunate and it's sort of disrespectful. But on the, under, on the other hand of it, you also have to think about the content. Is it interesting enough for them to be engaged? So it's important for you to have a message from the beginning. You wanna make that first impression from the delivery of your message to make sure it stands out. Make sure it's nothing that they haven't heard of, right? They need to make sure that what you say is gonna be interesting to them and they wanna know about it. So I like to refer to this as that annoying billboard sign that we typically see when we drive down the interstate, right? Whenever you do a nice little road trip, you see these billboard signs when you drive and you notice that sometimes they're advertisements or there's something that, you know, is, is, is trying to get your attention to, to buy something or have make business with. So keeping that in mind and relating that to the business world or to an corporate environment, you gotta make sure when you talk to someone, when you send that email to someone, when you present, you capture the attention from the beginning, from that short attention span that we typically have as human beings. You gotta make sure it's captivating enough for them to follow through and be engaged. Don't overcomplicate the message. Make sure it's simple. Make sure it's something sort of like a headline news that they wanna see, they, they wanna open up, they wanna click that email and read more about it. Tip number 13, prefer simplicity. Now this tip sort of speaks on its own, right? You wanna keep a message that's clear and simple to follow. You wanna make sure that others understand it. Now, it's not always easy, especially being in a, a role that I'm in. So my professional background is a control system engineer, which we deal with a lot of complexities, a lot of technical terminologies and communication. So I work with uh, renewable wind fleet and I'm pretty much the subject matter expert in knowing how wind turbine works. So when I, whenever I deliver a message, I tend to go over the top and explaining things that are just too complicated for people to follow. And I've fallen victim to this multiple times and I'm constantly trying to get better, but explaining to someone and breaking it down to someone is not always easy. So I have to, I have to always make sure I'm conscious of what I say and that my delivery uh, meets the objective of what I wanna do out of that message. So to keep it plain and simple, it's very important to follow that concept whenever you're delivering a message. Don't overcomplicate your wording too. I know I've seen people that try to use this extravagant uh, articulate vocabulary, and then, you know, you're not really there to impress them with your big fancy words. You just want to make the message go across them so they can understand. Know the bottom line, know the objective. Don't try to impress, don't try to use all this fancy wording. Just make sure to stick to the point. So 
So key takeaways from tips 12 and 13. Have awareness of who you're talking to and what scene and, and what you're trying to what you're trying to talk to them about or bring about whatever message to them. Make sure it sticks out. Make sure you deliver something that's interesting enough for them to be engaged throughout the course of the message. Keep them engaged with using simple language. Don't overcomplicate things. Use simple wording. It goes a long way. It'll get you through so much in your career. Thank you everyone for your time. I really enjoyed giving out this presentation and I hope you can apply these tips into your daily lives. Thank you.